Pregnancy is a miracle which is often taken for granted. Egg and a sperm, egg belongs to the mother and sperm belongs to a completely different individual. Even if it belongs to a completely different individual, the egg and the sperm, they meet, they uh, become one individual and the cell starts dividing, it becomes an embryo, then the embryo sticks and grows. But our body never rejects these embryos and our body rarely rejects the baby, right? So pregnancy, the fetus actually paternal allograft which is inside a maternal host. I am Dr. Archana S. Ayanathan from Dr. Archana IVF Chennai. Sometimes you would have come across a couple saying that they have undergone a miscarriage for maybe the second time, third time, fourth time maybe and all the miscarriages are around the 45 to 90 days of pregnancy. So these type of miscarriages are where these antibodies come into play. So generally our body has uh, antibodies for uh, all the external uh, factors but we don't have any antibodies for our own body, right? So uh, for example, we don't have antibodies acting against our cell. We don't have an antibody acting against our nucleus or uh, against the thyroid gland. But for some individuals, there are autoantibodies, that is antibodies which are directed against their own immune system or their own cells. For example, anti-nuclear antibody, anti-phospholipid antibody, lupus anticoagulant and anti-thyroid antibodies. What these antibodies actually do is they fight against your own body. Your body is trying to do a natural physiological process every day but these antibodies again in turn fight against your own body so when your body is already loaded with these antibodies so called auto antibodies then uh, fetus which is coming in that is baby which is developed from 23 chromosomes which belongs to your husband which is completely new to the body right so when that kind of a fetus is coming and sticking and growing inside your body you, it recognizes that as a something new to the body right so these auto antibodies are already charged up in the body when the fetus is developing in inside the body, half of the fetus belongs to a different chromosome. So in that case, these autoantibodies go and reject the baby and they will not let the baby grow beyond a point of time. This is when this uh, 45 to 90 days of pregnancy loss occurs. Typically you will have a heartbeat loss or something what is called as missed abortion. So these autoantibodies in the body play a very very important role in rejection of this pregnancy. So whatever progesterone is giving to the body is enough for a normal individual but not for a person who is already having autoantibodies against her own body. So de she definitely requires certain amount of medications and certain other medications in order to reduce the antibodies and in order to prevent the uh, problems which these antibodies can cause to the pregnancy. So by taking these medications properly beforehand and reducing the antibody tighter levels and then going ahead for a pregnancy will definitely give you a positive result as well as a live birth rate because here what we are talking about is not just a pregnancy positive result but here we are talking about carrying forward the pregnancy beyond 90 days and having a live birth.